What's going on guys, Hostile Beast here, back again with another episode of Retro Bowl. We have week three versus Atlanta, and this is a big game for us. Last season, Atlanta's running back won Rookie of the Year, and I think it should have been Peep. Real quick before we start, I'm going to make James a kick returner. I want Peep to focus on receiving this game. I want him to get a bunch of yards and a bunch of touchdowns and just have a great game against Atlanta. We also need to bounce back from that awful loss against Buffalo. Falcons have a three-star defense, one-star offense. Should be a fairly easy game for us. I'm not too worried about it. We kick off first, and the defense is on the field. So hopefully they can make a stop against a one-star offense, and they do. It's incomplete, and the Falcons punt the first possession of the game. So here we go. We got Peep on the slant. We'll just get it to him early. He gets nine yards. Couldn't break free there. Slant again. No one really opening up. I'm just going to have Mullins run for the first down. He gets it, but he gets smacked. Look at that. He got brought down. Hand it off to James. Hope Mullins is okay after that. I'm not going to make him throw it for a few more plays. Get him, give him some time to catch his breath. And James can rush. He gets a first down, makes a man miss, and gets 14 yards right there. Tried to cut back, couldn't get the stiff arm. Peep on the slant, try and get it to him. He's got it, 12 yards inside the five. Peep one-on-one, -on -one, cutting back inside. It's knocked down. Peep again. Trying to cut in the middle of the field. And this time he does get it. A four-yard touchdown for Peep. The extra point is good. We're up seven to nothing against the Falcons. Let's see if the defense can do it again and make another stop. Interception, and the defense comes through. So, so far we are shutting out the Falcons. Two stops in a row by the defense. Quelly on the post, try and get it to him. This is what we like to see from our team. Offense is playing well, defense is making stops. If our team plays like this, we have a shot at the Retro Bowl this year. Given how last season ended, I know we all want to see us get a little farther and hopefully take home that trophy at the end of the season. Got Dwelly cutting outside right there. And he snags it. Look at that. He comes down with it four yards, but out of bounds. I'm going to call an audible right here and try and get it to Peep. No, Mullins has to take it himself. And he gets a first down, six yards. He dives for it, and now it's first and goal. Running in with James, and he dives for it. Two-yard touchdown run for Jesse James. This extra point is also good, and we're up 14-0. Come on, defense. Do not let them score before half. There's 13 seconds left. Surely we do not. Oh, my gosh. I thought our defense was better than that, but one second on the clock, and now we have to get a kick return touchdown to do anything here. The time has already expired. There's no way we're doing anything. Look at this. Last 15 seconds aside, our team has played great this game. We're up 14-7 to at the end of the first half. We received the kick, so let's keep being productive on offense, and hopefully defense can make a stop or two before the game is over. McNeil is wide open. And, but Dwelly catches it instead, and look at Dwelly go. He's, he makes a man miss, and look at Dwelly. Inside the 30, could he go all the way? Inside the 20, it's a foot race between Dwelly and the Falcons defense, and they're not going to get there. 73 yards for Dwelly. So we go for the extra point. That's how you start off the half. 21-7, to and all the momentum is on our team right now. Come on, defense. Let's keep it going. It's short of the first down, and the Falcons punt, and just like that, it has gone from close game to blowout. Let's get it to Dwelly again. He gets four yards. Peep cutting back inside right there. We have to dump it off. Too much pressure. Peep on the post, and he is open. He's got 18 yards. Call an audible right here. McNeil should be open on this play, and he is across the middle. He catches it, and he breaks two tackles. Couldn't quite get the third man down, but 18 yards for McNeil. He'll be open again right here. Try and get it to McNeil. No, we can't. Mullins can take it himself. He is such a good scrambler. Fourth quarter, hand it to James. He could not quite get free, so three yards for James. Now it's third and one. I like this play right here. Peep is going to cut down inside. Clemens should eventually be open. No, Mullins can take it himself. He's got the first down, and he's got the touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run for Darnell Mullins. Extra point is no good, and it's 27-7. to After all that, we still can't make extra points. Come on, defense. One more stop to cap it off. It doesn't even matter at this point. 14 to 27. There's 14 seconds left. The good thing to do in this game is just to take the knee and run the clock down. And so that'll do it. A 27 to 14 victory against the Falcons. A great bounce back game against Buffalo. We're now 2 and 1. Wow, Denver's 3 and 0. Oh. We still don't even have a playoff spot. Look at that. Now we have week 4 at Tampa Bay. They're 2 and 1 just like us. Four star offense. Three and a half star defense, a very good team on both sides of the ball. And they have Tom Brady, which makes it that much harder to play them. This game's also on the road, so we're probably going to have like three fans cheering for us. It's going to be hard. I think we can pull it off.
Offense on the field first. Let's go out there and make a statement. First play of the game, and we got streaks. There's Peep, one-on-one, -on -one, and what was that throw? We're gonna put that one behind us, and the next play of the game, we'll hand it off to James. Keep it on the ground, let Mullins calm his nerves a little bit. You know, it's a big stage. James again, if it isn't broke, do not fix it. And there he goes, look at James. 14 yards for James, he is unstoppable this game. Peep on the slant, we'll try and get it to him. Bullet pass, and he's got it. First and 10, and Tampa Bay blitzing, just like they always do, let's try and get it out to Dwelly. Excellent coverage, and incomplete. Another blitz. We'll go to Clemens or Peep up top. Clemens has got it and he's brought down out of bounds. Third and three, we believe in James. And he fumbles it right into the hands of Tampa Bay. So a turnover from James, and now the Buccaneers take over. We gotta make up for that fumble. Come on, defense. Never mind, they score. So we start off the game down seven. You don't like to see it, but we're still within striking distance. We have to score here before the game gets away from us. I'm not gonna hold James's fumble against him, and that's why, look at him go. First down, we got Dwelly on the post. I don't want to risk that throw. Mullins can take off himself, and he's going to slide for seven. Call an audible right here. Another blitz from Tampa Bay, but Peep should be open on the post, and he is. Flies by his defender, and Mullins hits him in stride. Look at Peep go. McNeil on this play, trying to make the cut back inside. He can't do it, and that one is incomplete. Now we try James. That brings up third and six. We're going to give it to Clemens. Clemens, the rookie is brought down, did he get the first down? He did not get the first down. So now it's fourth and inches. We're gonna go to Dwelly. He's gonna cut outside up top there, you can see it. He's one on one. Mullen should be able to make this throw. Good coverage, and it's incomplete. We turn it over in the red zone, and that won the first half. We are down seven to Tampa Bay, and we kick off for them. Defense, make a stop. Do not let them get two scores on us. Butler was too slow. We gotta have some speed drills, guys. Everyone's running laps next practice. The entire practice is just laps. Look at him. He's missing tackles too. They missed the extra point, so we're down 13 to zero. We gotta capitalize on this and get some points. Now we hand it to James. He gets brought down. On second down, Dwelly up top, one-on-one -on, -one on the streak. He catches it. Why couldn't Dwelly make the easy catch in the end zone? Instead, he had to make the hard catch right there when it means nothing. And now it's third and two. We're gonna give it to James to convert for us, and he does. Clemens on the out route right here. I wanna get him more involved as a pass catching tight end, and we get sacked. So Clemens is pretty slow. He could not run that route. I feel like McNeil's a little bit faster than him, but that's okay, Clemens is younger. Now we hit Peep on the post, and he makes a man miss. Peep inside the 30, still going inside the 20, and 40 yards for Peep. Call an audible right here, try and toss it to McNeil. See, look, he gets through his route just a little bit faster. And he has 17 yards down at the one. He should be able to walk in for the touchdown. And he does. Extra point right here is good. And now it's seven to 13. We need a defensive stop. Come on defense, please, just one stop. Just one stop defense, they can't even do that. Stop them on two. And they get the two points. So we can't do anything defensively. And we're down 14 in the fourth quarter. We need to score here or else this game is over. Dwelly on the streak. Let's try and hit him. In a double coverage. And he still catches it. 13 yards for Dwelly. Another blitz from Tampa Bay. We gotta get this ball out fast. There's Peep. And that one's picked off. And that might do it for us. Unless the defense can pull off a miracle right here. It's incomplete. They're gonna go for a field goal. They make the field goal. We're down 24 to seven with a minute left. And it is looking grim. We had some costly turnovers that cost us this game. And honestly, it was everyone on offense. No one really played up to expectations today. It was very disappointing. I'm gonna have a chat with my offensive coordinator after the game. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't wanna talk about it. I do not wanna talk about it. Come on, defense, please. Yes, Landra makes an interception. So finally, we do something on defense. Come on, out fast, get to peep. Eight seconds left, it means nothing, but we still want to get a touchdown. They blitz again, but we get the ball to peep, and he's brought down, and that will end the game. So we lose 24 to seven, an embarrassing loss on the road in Tampa Bay, and now we are two and two. Would you agree that wide receiver Dwelly was poor today? Yes, I do agree, but it is not his fault. It is the coach's fault for calling the most awful routes I've ever seen in a game. So I'm gonna criticize the coach, and Mullins is injured. He's out for three games, so next week, our new quarterback, Bryson Whitney, will make his first start. So make sure to tune in next week against Cleveland, where we test out our new QB. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.